Hi guys, today I wanted to share with you my new Kate Spade Zip Up Personal Planner. I absolutely love this planner. Um, I purchased this about three weeks ago at a Kate Spade outlet store. They are only available at the outlet stores and the colors that were released for this year were black and rose gold. I also have a rose gold, but I won't be using it until Thanksgiving time frame. I really like the black for my Halloween setup. So I'm going to open this up and we're gonna take a look inside. Just as a side note, you can see that this is open here. I love this little paper clip that I got from Nicole Hutch Designs. It was in one of her sticker packages and I just think it's really cute. I leave it sticking out on the top. If I decide to put this in my purse, I will remove that paper clip and fully zip it. But if not, I leave it just the way it is on my desktop. I'm gonna open it up and we are gonna take a look inside. Okay, the first thing that I have is everything here on the left. I went all out decorating this for Halloween because I got so excited when I received it and I love the way it came out. At first, I was a little turned off by the really bright pink that was inside, but I really am starting to like it because a lot of sticker sets have that as a base color in them, so it really worked out for me, especially for my Halloween spread. The first thing I have up here on the left is a Kate Spade paper clip. I got this in a swap from Sparkly Canadian Crafty Girl. I finally be able to use it and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can take a better look at everything. The next thing I have are these really cute glitter pumpkins. These were from Hobby Lobby. Really adorable. I like to keep them tucked in on the top because I do use them for my to-do notepad. Okay, I also have two paper clips that I'm absolutely in love with. These are both from How Cute For You on Etsy. I will link her shop below. I love both of them. I couldn't decide which one I liked better, so I decided to put them both in here. So those are adorable. I have some page flags from Target, and guys, just to let you know, these are the only Target page flags I own. I've only been able to find this one color. I have looked and looked like crazy, and I don't know where you girls are finding them but I can't find them in the targets that I go to so when I got this set I was super excited and it had to go in here I also have this to do post-it pad from Target as well and again I personalized it with a glitter pumpkin and I really like to do that you can do that for any of the holidays that you use your to do post-it pad for and then I have this really cute paper clip that says fun that helps hold it in the planner. Now I don't have anything in this pocket and I don't have anything in this pocket as of now. Well actually I do keep these washi strips from Planner Kate right in here. They fit perfectly and I love that about her washi so we're going to just tuck them in so you can see what they look like and I really love them because then I just have them and able to grab them on the go. Okay now on this side here I created a shaker pocket. I'm going to open my rings so you guys can take a look at it. Okay, I got this idea from Serena B. She made one of these for her October daily, which is coming out really cute, and she has videos up. If you guys haven't checked her out, I would highly suggest that. But this is where I got the idea from, and basically what I did is I used some stickers, I used wood veneer, and I used some sequins and washi tape, and I created a shaker page. And I just absolutely love this. It's adorable. Now these sequins here are from Tailored Expressions. They were the Build-A-Theme Halloween set and they just came out really, really cute in there. I really love how that came out. Now to make this pocket page or shaker page, what I used is an Avery L stamp storage pocket. Now these are quite expensive, so a lot of you may not want to use this, and I'm just putting my hand in it so you can kind of see the size of it. They are quite expensive, but I like them because they're really, really thick. And once I created the shaker pocket, I like the real thickness that this has. It isn't floppy, it isn't bending over. I tried to use a page protector and it was really flimsy and I didn't like the way it came out. I'm really happy 
with how that came out. And always remember to decorate the back of your shakers, guys, because you're gonna see both sides. And a lot of times people forget that and then they have blank on the back and then it's too late by the time you've sealed it. And I used my fuse to seal up the little pockets and add everything in. Okay, the first thing I have is my dashboard. This spider web paper I had in my stash. I do not remember where it's from, but the washi tape is from Doodlebug's Halloween Parade collection, and that's basically what I used to do most of my dividers and everything else that I decorated in here. This here that says it's all about the shoes is super adorable. I got that on an Etsy shop, and I will link that below, and I will write her name right here so you can see where I purchased it. And I put some Wink Estella on it to make the shoes glitter because they are really, really, really cute. And I originally wanted to laminate this, but I think being a Project Life scrapbooker type of person, I don't like hiding all the dimension that little pieces of stickers and all that yumminess goes on the paper. I didn't want to take away from that, so I did not laminate this. On the other side, I have a trick or treat in gold foil. I love this so much. I use my hiding swap minx machine. I have a minx mini that my husband purchased for me for my birthday, and that just came out wonderful. I think I want to foil everything that I can get my hands on, and it came out really, really cute. And it's so shiny and sparkly. I love it. <laughs> This graphic here also came from an Etsy shop and her name is right here. Okay, the next thing I have in here is a clear fly leaf. It's very hard to see, but I'll just shine it in my lights there so you guys can see it. And the reason why I keep this here is if I wanna add some post-it notes, I can do so on this fly leaf, but it's also here to protect this stamped image. So I'm just gonna put that aside and this is my first divider which is my weekly divider and I like to have my weekly tab up on the top where I have my remainder tabs down on the sides and again I did this in like a scrapbook style kind of way with a lot of stickers a lot of um, layers of scrapbook paper washi tape stamps you name it it is on here and I did not want to laminate these either and again most of the stickers and papers here are from the doodle bug Halloween parade collection and this little stamp here is adorable it's from CC designs and I just think she's so cute. And I colored her with my Copics and I used some glossy accents to make the pumpkin shiny. And I just thought she looked really cute is sitting in this corner. So that is my first divider, the front and the back. In this divider, which is marked weekly, I have my weekly spread. And these inserts are from So Much Crafting. They've been really popular and I can see why. I love them. The paper is so smooth. When you get them, you will totally understand the hype about them. I did not uh, decorate for October 15th to the 18th. I was still in my Erin Condren at that time, but I have decorated for this week. And this is my spread for this week. And at first I said I was not gonna use stickers in this, that I was just gonna scribble and kind of write notes in it, but I kind of got carried away and I ended up using a lot of stickers and washi tape, as you can see. I also have next week pre-planned as well. I started, and this set here is from Scribble Prince Co. I'll put the name right here. She's also on Etsy. Half of it was purchased in her regular sticker shop and the other half were printables that I printed out myself because she does have a printables shop as well. And then I will show you guys an empty week so you can take a closer look. I love these inserts because I am in love with the font. I love that they are so clean and simple. This is the uh, week on two pages vertical and I really love it and the paper on these is such nice quality it is so smooth so I have up until February in here but um, I will take out as I use the weeks and add in new as I go along okay then my first regular tab is my daily 
I also decorated this with doodlebug designs. And here I had a pocket template and I just used that and I have some stickers in there that I might be using for this week and next week so I'm just keeping them in that. Okay, in my daily tab what I have is my Today Is pages and I really like these a lot. Again, these are from So Much Crafting and these are just so much fun to use. I plan out my day by time, things I need to get done, my menu, any notes that are important from that day and I like to use little tiny stickers to represent all the little things that I'm doing. I always have Pookie shot at 6 p.m. because she gets her insulin at that time. My husband takes care of her morning insulin so I do not track that. And here are a couple of other days. I do not make one of these every day just because it would be just too much for me. Um, I only do it on days that I have important things that I need to remember to do. I keep this paper clip here so I can find the current day easily. I also just have some stuck stuff stuck here. They are post-it pads so that when um, these events come up, I don't miss them. I make sure that I will have them in my planner. And then I will show you some blank ones so you can take a look at what they look like. They are super cool. Everything from So Much Crafting is super amazing and highly recommended by me. Okay, so that was that tab. We're going to go on to the next one, which is my to-do. Now, to-do is more like projects, and this again is all Doodlebug Designs. And I use the Get It Done inserts for that. And basically, these are major projects that I like to get done throughout the month. Now, I only started using this planner this week, so my list is really small. But those are the things that are not time sensitive, that are just projects that I would like to do. Okay, the next tab is Post, as in Post Office. Again, both decorated with Doodlebug designs, and as you can see, very scrappy, very layered, stickers, washi, you name it, it's on there. I love doing that with my dividers. I do not like to laminate them. And again, this was for post office, and I have two different So Much Crafty inserts in here. The first one is Pen Pal Tracker, which I highly recommend because it helps you keep track of who you're sending packages to. And then these are mailing addresses for those pen pals. And the ones I'm showing you here are blank because the ones that I am currently using have a lot of personal information and I did not want to show them on film. So I just wanted to show you at least the blank ones. And then my next divider is my last divider. It's miscellaneous. It is anything that doesn't fall under these other categories. And again, Doodlebug Designs Halloween Parade for these as well. Really love how these came out. And so far in my miscellaneous section, I only have birthdays and anniversaries. Again, from So Much Crafting, you just list everybody's birthdays and anniversaries here. So that is everything that I have in the planner. It seems like a lot, but it's really not. It is not packed solid. I still have a, a lot of room on the side, if you can see. Now in the back pocket, I just have these Pop Fizz paper uh, Bill Do stickers that are really cute and decorated for Halloween. I keep those here so I can stick them down as needed. I also have a G2 gel pen, a Pilot in the 07 in pink. I love this pen and it looks really cute in there. So that was everything guys. That was everything inside the planner. I'm just going to flip everything back to the right side. I love the way it looks. It's really fun and colorful for October. I'm going to also be decorating my rose gold for Thanksgiving. So when that's done, I will share it with you guys as well. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.